Hello, welcome to Bernadette TV, online TV to help you be the best you can be in your business and your life. And it's a new year, and this is a time of year that's ripe with possibilities. There's a very good chance you've been thinking about changes you want to make this year. You may be thinking about a whole new you, a new and improved version of you. And you're getting lots of encouragement with all of the TV and newspapers talking about New Year's resolutions. Well, this year, I want to give you a, maybe a slightly different way of thinking about it. Because honestly, I don't think we need a new you. What I think we need more of is the true you. Let me explain. Joseph Campbell says that we basically have three layers of who we are. Up, up at the top is who we pretend to be. This is the person that we present out to the world. This is how we show up as our hardworking, decent self, where we're basically, in most cases, a good person. But that's actually a cover-up for some, something underneath, which is who we're afraid we are. And these, this might be the parts of yourself that you think that you need to hide from the rest of the world. Maybe you think you're not good enough or maybe you think that you're lazy, or maybe you're frightened that you're a fraud, and that if people really knew who you were, that uh, they wouldn't want to be your clients, or they wouldn't want to be your friends. But the good news is that this is not the truth. It might seem like the truth, and we might have some pretty compelling stories about who we're afraid we are, but that's actually covering up something even deeper, and this is who we truly are. This is where our true value and all of our natural gifts uh, preside. You know, Marion Williamson really summed this up when she said, our deepest fear is not that we're inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we're powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness, that most frightens us. We ask ourselves, who am I to be brilliant, gorgeous, talented and fabulous? Actually, who are you not to be? You're a child of God. Your playing small does not serve the world. There's nothing enlightened about shrinking so that other people will not feel insecure around you. We're all meant to shine as children do. We were born to make manifest the glory of God that is within us. It's not just in some of us, it is in everyone. And as we let our own light shine, we unconsciously give others permission to do the same. As we're liberated from our own fear, our presence automatically liberate others. So this is what I'm suggesting. What if all of the things that were on your New Year's resolutions list were actually things that you thought you needed to overcome. The things that you thought you needed to change about yourself because you bought into the story of who you were afraid you are. And what if instead of trying to fix yourself this year, because you're not broken, instead you put your energy and attention on focusing on celebrating the true you. This part of you where all of your gifts and magnificence are. This is the gorgeous, talented, fabulous you, to use Marion Williamson's words. So this is what we need more of. We don't need a, we don't need a new you. We need more of the true you. And as you embrace and step into the true you, this is what you're going to find where everything comes to you easily. Because the more you're the true you, the more you can match up with the people who are meant to be your true clients. The more you're the true you, the more you're going to be able to connect with your true love. Everything that's in your heart is waiting for you here as, as the true you. So this year, forget about becoming a new you. Just focus on finding the courage to share the true you. I hope that's inspired you and uh, look forward to connecting with you more on Bernadette TV. If you like this episode and you want more, please subscribe and the great people at YouTube will make sure that you don't miss a single episode. I would also love it if you would come over to my blog and sign up for my email updates for special advice and tips that only get shared via email. And I would also love it if you could leave a comment and let me know how this episode inspired you. It took a bit of courage for me to share this with you today because this isn't normally the business marketing advice that I'd be sharing with you, but it felt really important today to share this message about forgetting about being a new you and becoming the true you instead. So would love to hear your comments and also look forward to seeing you on the next episode of Bernadette TV.